Ritchie County High School was transformed into a crime scene on Wednesday. And even though it was planned, the second that call came through, Ritchie County High School, stage for law enforcement, shots fired. It was Subject. very real for first responders. Subject down. This is a drill. Time alert 1339. Multiple active shooter drills were performed at the high school by law enforcement, paramedics, and fire departments from Ritchie County. Organizers knew what the scenarios were, but everyone else was left in the dark. If you plan everything out ahead of time, you're it's staged and you know it's you don't get the proper action out of all the members and so forth. Ellenboro Volunteer Fire Department Chief Bill Bayless says these drills are performed a few times a year and it's important that everyone works together during them. We all kind of work together and have them together and help each other out. The drill on Wednesday included 28 kids from the Ritchie County Sheriff's Department Junior Police Academy. The cadets play a role in this active shooter by being part of the classroom. Uh, so the alarms will go off, the school will in, uh, operate their protocols for lockdown. The kids that are involved in this get to see the responders are going to react when they come, as well as the responders are going to get to see uh, and benefit from the training uh, that's going to happen here today. Sheriff Brian Backus says these drills help keep the first responders sharp, but it also helps the county get grants. The last grant was used to purchase IRP radios, which allow emergency personnel to communicate with others in different states. Reporting in Ritchie County, I'm Katie Anderson for 12 News.